Okay. Um, yep, we are recording. Hey guys. So I'm just documenting really quickly my re uninstall and reinstall of Pinnacle Studio. Hey guys. Hey birdies. Yep. I know that's not going to work though. But anyways, yeah. See? Didn't work. Anyways, I am just documenting this because, uh, so I'm having an issue with the New Blue FX logo. Uh, New Blue FX is some special effects stuff that's been included with Pinnacle Studio. And reading an online thread about this on the Pinnacle Studio forums, um, oh, what's the word? Yeah, um, it will occur a licensing issue if you close your computer down before Pinnacle Studio is closed, which once you click the X button and the program goes away, it doesn't necessarily mean it's closed. Sometimes background render apparently will linger around and finish up some stuff. So that can happen, or also in my case too, it probably happened with licensing issue where I, a lot of times I would, Studio would crash, or I would close it and reopen it for whatever reason, and it wouldn't reopen right away. So I'd go into Task Manager and see that it was still running, and so I'd force end the process. Yeah. Um. Oh, it looks like it's done. Because even the studio icon is gone from down here. So let's go to my setup here. And I need to do a better backup of this because all I have is this. But it's going to download some stuff and I need to back that up too. Which, thankfully, this is a, a DVD rewritable. Yeah. If you didn't know that, DVDs can be used for data. Hey, I like how it's pulled this in on... Ah, funny thing, I just reached up to cover my screen, and then I realized that I can't do that, and that I'm going to have to do a smidge of editing on this video. So, yeah. Thankfully, though, it's one easy little spot. And it'll probably be good to speed up this process, too. But, um, I want to really quickly say, and then I'll let this thing speed up in editing... Thinking, oh, so when I upgraded Studio, I asked from the community if there was any real easy way to import everything over from the previous version of Studio. I went from Studio 18 to Studio 20. I was planning on getting 19, but then by the time I was actually finally ready to spend the money and get the new version of Studio, well, hey, Studio 20 was out. I'm glad it wasn't 21. Uh, I've used that program and returned it quickly. But so anyways, um, they said there was no way to quickly just do everything over. But actually, the transfer over wasn't as bad as I thought. Changing settings was pretty easy. There aren't that many settings to change. But then also, um, when I opened up a project that I was working on already, all the clips were imported into the library. So, yeah. I'm going to mute the mic now and speed this portion up. All right, we are, we're back. I stopped part right through because I didn't realize, you know, how long it was going to take anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, great. So, so what I'm going to do is, uh, here we go. So, this folder right here, it contains uh, these things right here. And this is the actual installation files. I'm going to copy these. As you see here, we just have the serial text, which is my serial number in case as well as um, the what I thought was the setup, but it actually needs to download some files and then install them. So we need to back this up. So we're gonna do that really quickly. Now we uh, I haven't done this in years. Well, yeah, I'll have to do that later. Anyways, B I N C I D. Pinnacle Studio 20. Oh! It's appeared back there. Hmm. I wonder if Windows remembered that I had it there before and was like, hey dude, I'm gonna be smart and put it back there for you. If you did Windows, well thank you. Wow. Everything is already loaded. And... 
There's no new blue effects error. Now let's quickly give this a test here. We're just going to pick this. Shouldn't give away too much if I open this up. Uh, add on. Where am I? Wow, they're there. Cool. We'll go here. Video tune up plus. And let's uh, log to beautiful. Whatever that does. Actually, no, sorry. Punchy colors. Punchy colors. See, so, yeah, it works great. I'm confident that this fixed the issue. And it looks like everything is already here pretty much. Um, yeah, that is, uh, that is really cool. Now I can see fresh install of Windows doing wonders in some cases like the other years you did, but, um, see if I can demonstrate. So if I do here, control, alt, delete, go to task manager. So there's the studio running here, but I need to go to my details. Everything's alphabetized here. Press N. Well, first of all, actually, at the top, we have BG Render, which is part of it. We want to see uh, NG Studio. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I didn't really change anything important, but see? It is still running. So if I try and click on Studio, it won't open. So basically, you just let it do its thing, and you shouldn't have any errors with the uh, new blue effects. Really quickly tacked on to the end of this reinstall video, which went a little bit better than expected. I was fully expecting to have to pull the, uh, uh, open up my projects again and let Studio re-import all the clips and fix my settings, but I didn't. That was, like, really cool. And I don't know whose part that was on Pinnacle, or was it part of Windows 2? I'm sure the start menu, or, yeah, the taskbar thing was where it reappeared in the taskbar, but... This project was actually giving me some grief, and this is in relation to the project the video that I did earlier this week, I want to say, about um, having issues with exporting and my worries about exporting airborne death. Um, so where the timeline marker is right now at about 3 minutes, 20 seconds, and then the other one, big one, is at um, about 2 minutes or so, both of those sections there, and that's the one with the purple line above it for some reason, both of those sections there have um, been sped up. Now, the one on the left, about two minutes of the purple marker, it was something like I went from 20 minutes or something like that down to uh, 30 seconds about. And it was giving me issues and errors. This project was stopping at about 46 to 50 percent depending on what i tweaked but i took that clip all by itself and worked with it it still gave me the errors when exporting all by itself so i knew that it wasn't a combination of it plus the other clips so then i played with shortening it down until i got it to save all by itself so i went from 30 seconds speed up to about five seconds speed up and this is something that this got me curious i want to try in a video sometime later on because i think that the faster you speed up a clip the faster the render time is going to get especially when BG renders doing the its background render stuff, because eventually you're getting down to where you're like so fast that you only have, I don't know, 10 frames of the original sequence, the original video. So I'm curious to do some testing and see at what point, you know, it's going to start slow, it start rel somewhat fast to render, because that's to make it just a little bit faster. But then at what point does it speed up again, because it's only rendering... 10 to 20 frames of the the video original video there that's something that i'm curious about too it did give me a bit of grief though which makes me maybe a little bit worried for exporting airborne death but then it kind of sort of doesn't because i also was able to figure out what was going on make changes that would fix that relatively easily and get this project exported and this section here to not have to worry about anything just to be safe I had already exported this project, so I just put it back into Studio so it would just treat all the speedups and everything as a final video file, because it is. And then I just tack on the picture and the audio at the end. So it kind of has me maybe a little bit of hope for Airborne Death. I'm thinking worst case scenario, I'm going to have to do it in chunks. I'll save it, then I'll go in and I'll say the first, I don't know, first five minutes of Airborne Death. 
go till about the five minute mark, find a spot where I can split it without causing trouble on the timeline. Everything after that is gone. We export that and then re-import and chunk them together. And, you know, that's worst case scenario. It's kind of weird, though. It's very complicated, so I'm worried about it saving. I'm worried about some little node or something just going and saying, ah, I don't like this. I'm not saving and making it freeze up. But then I'm kind of not because I feel like somewhere in there the complexness of it will make it work. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and all the other videos on my channel. It seriously, you know, means a lot to me. You know, especially with some of the things I've watched recently. Like, I just got done watching a video by Linus Tech Tips on their 6 million subscribers. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoy the content. Please give me feedback and all that stuff like that. Let me know if you're actually interested in seeing that, um, that test I just mentioned of speeding up the clip faster and faster and watching the render times. I'll see you guys in whatever's next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like in the comment below. I've done a few other videos on Pinnacle Studio in the past, although that's not my main thing. But check out the rest of the channel and see if you like it. You might like it enough to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.